buongiorno. So, I was looking in the fridge, wondering what to cook, what to use up. So I thought, let's do a pasta al forno, pasta in the oven. Now this is fantastic for using all those bits and pieces that uh, are hanging around, you're not quite sure what to do with it. So what we are going to use is, we've got some carrots, courgettes, cherry tomatoes, red onion, mozzarella di bufala, purple sprouting broccoli, garlic, salami, chili, parma ham. You know, you can do this vegetarian as well. You don't need to use any, any meat as well. You can, you can do that without any meat at all. Parmesan cheese, I mean, sorry, yeah, I mean, we, we do use a lot of parmesan cheese here, so you can uh, get a normal size. And penne. What we need to do is chop and saute these quickly. They're gonna go in the oven with half cooked penne. We don't want to cook that completely because obviously it's going to be overcooked and, uh, and mushy. And then that will go in the oven uh, for probably about half an hour, uh, 180, 190, um, until that's finished. We're going to finish it with some Parmesan cheese on top to get a nice crispy, crunchy top. And also we're going to put a little bit of chilli in there. Now this, this is a must to have in, in your kitchen. If you like spicy food, we just whiz up. Uh, green, red chilies, bit of both, whatever you like, marinate them in olive oil and then just leave it in the fridge. We've had this here for a week, two weeks, could probably last much longer than that, but any dish you just want to add a quick burst of spice to it, there it is. And you can do the same with garlic as well, just saves all that peeling and chopping time after time. So, uh, okay. chopping done. <laughs> now listen, you know, if you haven't got these things, it doesn't matter. Use what you've got. You may have some bits of chicken, a little bit of roast chicken left over, uh, some ham, different vegetables, all sorts of things, chickpeas, uh, cannellini beans, any, anything like that you can use up. First thing, this is gonna take about 10 minutes to cook, so we'll put it in just for five minutes. We just wanna get that uh, going. Now we need to just start blanching these uh, vegetables, the same as you would with meat. We always talk about browning meat to seal in the flavour. I believe you should do the same with, uh, with veg. So carrots have gone in there first. And after that we'll go now with these uh, red onions. If you haven't got red onions, of course, white onions will do, shallots, spring onions. Again, whatever you've got. That's great. What should we do next? We've got some courgettes. Let's get those in. Okay, the tomatoes you think may be going a bit early, but we want them to, to ooze out all, them, all their moisture. Oops. Easy. Okay, yeah, we have some purple sprouting broccoli. We get that all coated with that olive oil. Now let's go in with some seasoning, a little salt, touch of pepper, and let's get some of that chili in there if you like a little kick. Now this is quite hot, so I'm not going to use too much of this. Fantastic. All these other ingredients will go in, in the oven. Super. Right, this is, this is good to go in the oven. Pasta needs a couple more minutes now. We'll just check that that's not sticking. Let's get this. Yeah. A couple of minutes we need to wait for the pasta to be ready. In the meantime, we're just going to mix in a little bit of salami, some parma ham. Oh yeah, that chili, that chili's good. Okay. Buffalo mozzarella on there. Ah. 
Once the pasta's ready, we're going to mix that all together. And on the top of it, we're going to grate some Parmesan cheese. Let's get some basil in there. No need to chop this up, just rip it up with your clean hands. I've washed my hands about six times today, by the way, in the last 20 minutes. Okay. So a couple of minutes, that pasta's ready. We'll mix this up and get it in the oven. Okay, this needs a drink. So let's get some white wine in there. Give that a little bit of time just to reduce down. One for chef. Salute. Pasta half cooked. So let's get that in the uh, in the container. Don't drain all the water off. Add a little there. That starch will be great. That will all amalgamate into a lovely sauce. Also, earlier on I made some tomato sauce and batched it, which is great. Where is it? Here we go. Just did a big pot of tomato sauce. Very simple, just fried onions in olive oil, garlic, and butter, uh, white wine, peeled tomatoes, reduced it down for an hour, salt, pepper, basil, whizzed it up. Look at that, beautiful and tastes great. So the rest of it, I'm gonna put in here. That again, will add to the sauce. The colors in there were beautiful, by the way. And you know, whatever vegetables you use, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, just use them up. Okay, we'll get all that mixed together. Try not to spill it all over the place. Might use a bigger container next time. And then we've rough chopped some uh, Parmesan cheese. Again, if you haven't got Parmesan cheese, use what, what cheese you've got, what cheese you've got in there. We happen to have a lot of Parmesan cheese, so that's that's what we're using. You can use some cheddar, pecorino, blue cheese, whatever you like, but you need that. You need that on top to make our crusty base. So let's get that in the oven. Put it in there, this will be another half an hour in there, roughly. Keep an eye on it at about 180, I reckon 190. In about half an hour, should be good to go. Let's wait and see. Now I think, to me, that looks good to go. Let's have a look at this. Beautiful. And that's what we wanted. We wanted that lovely crispy topping with the, with the cheese there. And then once you cut into this, you'll see that all those juices and flavors that have all amalgamated to help to make the sauce for this pasta. And here we go, a rustic pastel forno. Please check out Lily Foundation Charity. Thank you.